Hi, I'm Ian Fairley. I'm a research assistant at Swansea University. I work in the Marine Energy Research Group uh, and we're looking at uh, developing uh, techniques and developing understanding of uh, getting electricity from the sea. The best thing about my job is that it really links my uh, recreational interests in surfing, sailing, being outside with my, with my job. There's a lot of freedom to explore the uh, things that you're, you're personally interested in and everything that I do in work, I can relate to my uh, life outside work on the weekends. I'm, I like to spend a lot of time down the beach. Uh, I do a lot of surfing, sailing, fishing, just walking along the coast. I love the outdoors. You know, I, I really do, on a, especially on a day like today when it's sunny, it's crisp. There's nothing better than being out on the British coastline. I think if you're interested in science, uh, don't be put off by the fact that some people think it's a bit of a stuffy subject. It's not. There's so many wonderful, exciting opportunities in science. For example, uh, last year we spent two weeks going out every day on a boat, collecting data out in the elements. Really exciting stuff. And there's a lot more to science than meets the eye. So I say go for it because you'll never know where it could take you. I think I was lucky I had good teachers who are enthusiastic. Um, and so they encourage my interest in science. And then when you link uh, that academic interest with a natural curiosity uh, to the things that I'm interested in, uh, the sea, nature, then it, it was just a natural progression for me. The important thing about my job is that we're looking at ways to get uh, marine energy without causing adverse impacts. That's something that's really important. Uh, I'm sure many of you are aware that uh, oil is running out, that there are greenhouse gas emissions that need to be reduced, so we need to uh, increase our sources of renewable energy, but we need to do that in a sustainable fashion to make sure that we don't destroy the environment that we've already got uh, whilst trying to protect it uh, by preventing climate change. And that's the sort of work that I'm doing, is looking at what are the acceptable levels of uh, energy extraction that won't adversely impact the natural environment as we know and enjoy at the moment.